Hey guys, Mark here. Today, got a quick little video about BECs. Um, I still see a lot of people asking questions about what they are, uh, so I just want to make this little video to help you understand uh, what they are and when you use them. So, a BEC it stands for Battery Elimination Circuit. Basically, the job of the BEC is to provide power to your receiver. Now, your receiver needs power both for so it can maintain a link with your radio, but also your servos, they all need power to move. So with the smaller helicopter or with the smaller helicopters, the speed controllers used on those almost always include a built-in BEC. But when you get up to the bigger helicopters, generally about 500 size and bigger, that's when you want to start looking into running a separate BEC. Um, now the reason you do this is if your speed controller ever fails in flight, that means your motor is going to stop spinning. And if you have a speed controller that's using a built-in BEC and your speed controller fails, well now your receiver is no longer going to have power and your servos are no longer going to have power and the helicopter is just going to fall like a rock. If you have a separate uh, BEC, then your receiver will still have power because it's going to be receiving power through this not through this. So that way you'll still have power to your servos. So that way hopefully you can do an auto rotation um, and you know land your helicopter somewhat safely rather than just watching it crash, you know, and you know have nothing you can do about it. So to wire in a BEC it's very simple. They you know you just have two wires and what you do is when you are soldering on the connector, you know, for your bed, you know, to your uh, speed controller wires here, all you're going to do is you just solder the wire for the BEC right onto it, just like that, and that's it. Um, now, you can see here I've got two different speed controllers here. These are the Hobbywing Platinum Pro Series. Now this is a 100 amp, ser uh, the 100 amp version. This one includes a built-in BEC. This is the 70 amp high voltage series. This is an opto version. This one does not include a built-in BEC. So, and this is a little bit different when you go to hook these up, because um, again, these are both used for big, you know, helicopters or big aircraft, whatever. Um, and you know, if you're using them on a helicopter, I would recommend using a separate, you know, BEC. So again, when you wire them in to, you know, the battery terminals, that's the same, but it comes to the uh, wires that you connect into the receiver. Now, if it's got the built-in BEC, you want to disable that. So basically what you do is you just cut the red wire on the wire coming from the speed controller. That way your receiver is not getting power from the speed controller, it's getting power from your BEC. Now if it's an opto series, it was never getting power through this red wire, so there's no reason to cut it. Um, that's only on a speed controller that has a built-in BEC. Uh, so that's just one little thing about that. But uh, like I said, um, you know, BECs, they're very simple, very easy to use, and it's just a little bit of extra insurance. Uh, some people choose to use an actual battery pack for the receiver, uh, you know, when you get into the big helicopters, and that's definitely, you know, a good option too. You know, um, I just kind of like, you know, running, you know, the separate BEC because that allows me to use one battery but I'm not doing a lot of, you know, hardcore, you know, tricks or anything, just, you know, basic flying. Uh, so, you know, if you're doing a lot of 3D, then, you know, running a separate battery pack for the receiver might be something we want to look at. But again, you know, that was just a little information on BECs. Hope that helped you and I'll talk to you guys later.